guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sky Gaines. And for those of you who are new here, each week I put together a new video on some Dynamics 365 functionality. I upload a new video every Tuesday with some new content. So if that kind of content interests you, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and, and hit the notification bell so when I upload a new video, you're notified through YouTube. So this week what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at a brand new screen that's been introduced um, in Dynamics 365 Advanced Warehouse. It's called the Workline Detail Screen. Let's take a look at that when we come back next. The screen we're gonna take a look at today is called the Workline Detail Screen. It's a brand new screen in Dynamics 365. I think it came out in for general release in October. Solves a pretty unique problem to, that we had with the work records and, and kind of just monitoring the work that was going on by sales order. So let's go ahead and take a look at the problem that this screen solves first, and then we'll do a demo here in just a minute. All right, so the first thing I want to take a look at is what problem this new screen is going to address. So I'm in the uh, all work screen, just uh, warehouse management work and all work. And you'll notice I've got a, um, a sales order here, 776, that has two work items next to it, associated with it there. So if I wanted to take a look at all the work items associated with this, like the details, there's no real good way to do this. So I can click on this one, if I open up this 14, and I can say, okay, well, this has got two lines associated with it, I can close it, and then I can go back to the 15. I can see that that's got one line associated with it. Same sort of problem if I go to the work line details uh, or the work details screen, uh, which is warehouse management, uh, work, and then work details. Let that screen open up. And so I still have my same uh, sales order number 776. It's a little easier here. I can just click on it and it shows the details below. So those of you who've ever dealt with the larger orders and larger works or multiple works getting created for the same order, you can see how having a single screen that would show the line details for, for a single sales order is, is very handy to have. So let's go ahead and take a look at the functionality of the screen. This, it actually adds some new functionality for us as well. So let's go ahead and do a demo of the, of the new work line detail screen. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the new screen. And this is a flighted feature. I did have to enable this through feature management and add the flighting code. I'll, I'll put that in the video description below what the flighting code is. But uh, where the new screen is located is if we go underneath uh, warehouse management, work, and we go to work line details. We'll use our same sales order number 776 as an example here. So if I kind of scoot over here, I can see that I can move this around if I wanted to, but um, so here are my lines for the different work, two work items we were looking at um, for that uh, sales order. So it becomes a very handy view. So, you know, for example, I just, I just wanted to see my, um, the lines for that particular sales order. Again, you know, maybe we've got a hundred different um, uh, lines or, or different pieces of work associated with it. We could have a lot of different pieces of work associated with this one. Uh, we could just filter it out and now I'm just looking at sales order 776, All right? So the screen actually adds some extra functionality as well. We'll take a look at that. Let me clear this filter out. And one of the kind of neat things that you can do now is I can um, change the location on, an, on a line. So previously, if you had a failed location directive, for example, and ended up with a blank location, there's really no way in the system to actually update that location, you generally have to cancel the work and then re-release the work. Um, now, if you allowed the picker to override the location, they could go ahead and just load the work into the gun and um, go and pick it. But uh, with this new screen, they've given us the ability here to change the location. So if I want to change the location of this one to FL-001, I can do that by clicking on the change location button and then put in the, new, in the location I want it to be one and then hitting OK. OK, and then if we come back and look at that line item, um, it's been changed to FL001. So again, very handy. Uh, we haven't been able to do that before. That's this new functionality there that's been added. You can also cancel a work line here and you, then you have your normal display dimensions if you want to add or remove dimensions. And then let's go and look at the related information. It gives you some of the same related information uh, that you have on your normal work for work records, and then you have your options here, uh, which are the normal options there. 
All right, so as you can see, that screen adds some pretty neat functionality. The ability to change locations, you really weren't able to do in, inside Dynamics 365. If you allowed the user to override a location, they could do that. But for example, if you had a location directive fail and you got a look blank location, and you didn't really, and you didn't allow the override of a location, you really were kind of stuck. You had to cancel and redo your location directive and re-release. But the ability to add a location onto a work line, that's, that's gonna be a really handy feature. Also, you know, just the ability to see, pull up an entire sales order and see all the work lines associated with it and the status of those lines is, a, I think, is going to be a really great feature to be able to, to see that type of information. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. That helps the distribution of the video. It helps more people see it. Uh, YouTube sees that it's a good video and uh, we'll distribute it further out. So please give it a like if you enjoyed it. Again, subscribe if I upload a new video every Tuesday. So if you'll subscribe, you'll get notified of when I upload a new video. Okay, so until next week, thanks for watching.